let's get back to uh to Fazeev and Dos Anjos if we could. Um, you know Dos Anjos has a huge fan in me. Anybody who's listening yes. to this show knows that. But uh, Rafael Fazeev is a real problem. Like, I wouldn't want to get kicked by that guy one time. Not one time, you know. And um, he just kicks so hard. He kicks so fast. Uh, I think he accrued a lot of valuable experience this night against a former world champion. Yes. And, um, you know, a lot of big fights on the horizon. Maybe Gaethje next. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, uh, I thought he did. The, the best thing I think he did is conserved his energy better. You know, he didn't. Uh, I think that's why he made it to the fifth round. Because the Bobby Green fight, he started to gas out, I think, in a little bit in the third. But he did a way better job at like more technical, less explosions, which I think that's what's going to kill him when he starts really exploding over and over again. So I, I was really impressed with that. What a close fight. I, mean, I don't know. Who, anybody know what the cards were going into the fifth round? Did we get that? Cody will chase that. I, I believe I had one, two, and three for Fazeev and then round four for Dos Anjos. Ken Flo, any thoughts on the cards? Yeah, that's pretty much what I, how I had it. I think I forget if it was round three or two that was close in my mind. But, yeah, I had uh, Fazeev winning the first three. So Dos Anjos had some work to do for sure. Yeah. So this kind of closes the championship book on Dos Anjos. You know, he did have some momentum, looked really good in the Moicano fight, even though there were some circumstances surrounding that main event. Yeah. Um, but for Dos Anjos at this point, you know, not that he won't fight again, but I think in a lot of respects, I think over 30 UFC fights, maybe over 20 UFC wins. This kind of closes the book on his championship legacy. Uh, but Fazeev wants Gaethje. What do you guys think about that? And do you think that will be next? I mean, I think it's a good time to call out Gaethje because, you know, Gaethje's had some championship opportunities, hasn't delivered. I, I think that makes a lot of sense. That might be the next the next fight for Fazeev. Ray, what do you think about Fazeev and Gaethje uh, locking up? I mean, uh, come on, that's an exciting fight. I I I, I want to watch it. You know, definitely a fight that's not going five rounds, so it's going to be exciting. So yeah, I think that's a that's a great fight, and I think Gaethje's always up for, uh, you know, for the challenge. Look, I think that the thing good for Fazeev is that these guys are getting older, and a lot of stuff comes with getting older. You know, even like the that, you know that that desire to really win. You know, maybe just to pick up a paycheck. I don't know. But even like Dos Anjos, it was, it was a good fight. It was competitive. But the guy is 37. It's going to be hard to climb your way back at that weight, you know, at that age, I think. And uh, I think a younger RDA probably wins that fight, you know. But, um, you know, how many uh, – what was his layoff on this, too? He was out for – No, not too long. Not, not too no, long? No, I, honestly, I feel like – in a 30-footer, Dos Anjos at this stage of his career would be a little bit more exposed. I think he uses that 25-footer well. Certainly was able to run a lot of clock in the clinch against Paul Felder. And I even think athletically, like his entries for takedowns were pretty good, but Fazeev was was more than up for that challenge. Um, I just think stylistically, Ken Flo, at this stage of Dos Anjos' career, even though he does kick, and I just think a lot of it is just a war of attrition and trying to, you know, just clinch and and take down and that, that's kind of what his game is right yeah. now you know well, you yeah yeah I, I think he was he was making a few mistakes in the clinch there I, he was starting to figure it out like in round four he was looking way better the way he was finishing and the way he was adjusting to try to get Fazeev on uh, on the mat I thought was a lot better and I also think he was forcing um, a lot of the clinches like Dos Anjos, when he strikes, was doing fine. Without I think, a because doubt. He was panicky. He was a little panicky right, out there, like big... he had to rush to the clinch all the time. So it seemed like, I don't know, uh, he could have fought a little bit smarter and better. But, you know, Fazeev's a problem, and I think that's an interesting call-out and a smart call-out against Gaethje, who's been through how many wars now? Yeah. Um, and, right, you know, Fazeev, Fazeev's got the speed advantage, I think. Um so Danny Rubes, uh, right? Rub Rubenstein is he still uh, oh, is yeah. he still managing? Yeah, yeah. He, he was so, in corner. Yeah, smart, smart game plan as far as taking the right fights at the without right a, time. Without a doubt, I love that call out. That's that's good stuff. Yeah, I agree not that Gaethje that. isn't dangerous. Gaethje is still a no, very but, dangerous man, but and Kenny, it's a great fight. But you beat someone like Gaethje, people people pay attention. Yeah, and I tell you, and Kenny, you know that, uh, and beat him in like a highlight reel fashion, which is right. a possibility. Uh, but you know, as these guys get older, it, it comes with a lot of injuries they got to deal with. They got to change up their game plans. They're just not the guys they were five years ago. I don't give a shit what yeah. anybody says. It's almost impossible. You know no what I mean? Because I'm I'm with Kenny. 
RDA looked like he was having way more success standing up. The straight left was landing all the time. Like basically when he threw it, he, I, that's why I say, I think a younger, more aggressive RDA probably wins that fight, you know, with all the other tools that he has. Yeah. yeah. But I just think it, it, it's, it just sucks, man. Uh, like I just, I've seen it so many times and, you know, nobody really knows what's going on, but yeah. you know, it, it's hard getting a young guy to a fight uninjured. You know what I mean? Well, it just right. is. This is just a tough, tough sport. And, uh, you know, there's going to be certain guys that their injuries are going to be less. And I think those are the guys that are going to shine through. But, uh, you know, I, I thought yeah, I, I, I agree with Kenny. I thought he was I, having way more success. I think just based on like the Bobby Green fight, I would have made him expend energy in that realm and then went to the takedowns. You're going to have to endure. Right. You got to get through a little bit of uh you know, tenseness there with the striking, but that that was that would have been my approach. We're gonna push him hard the first two, and then we're gonna take him down and beat him up. You know, that that I would have tried that. But, you know, and I thought he looked like he was doing fine. I, I agree absolutely with Ray. Um and I, I think for Gaethje, you know, to go back to Gaethje, I, I don't know if Gaethje takes that fight because you know, I don't know how much he has to gain. I think there's guys with bigger names that are as dangerous or less dangerous that he could take on. Um, he's got a lot to lose in that fight, and Fazeev's got a lot to gain if that fight happens. So it's it's going to take some negotiation uh, for sure to, to make that fight happen. Um, but I like to call that. Yeah, you know, you know the fight I'd like to see? <clears throat> I'd like to see him go up against that guy, Gamrot. Well, who's the guy that fought a couple the of years? Gamrot makes a lot of sense. Fight. That's yeah, a fight a I'd like one. to see because that's a guy with a gas tank from hell, and he yeah. could he's not stopping. You know what I mean? You're going to have to stop him early. Or I think he just, he'll, he'll run you into the ground, that guy. He, that, that pace that him and uh, um, Sarukian. Sarukian put on was, was crazy. Like crazy. It was triple the pace of last night. You know, like, I don't know who's holding up to that. So that's yeah. a guy. Gamrock, and Gamrock I, can wrestle, boy. Yeah, yeah, he can <laughs> wrestle. That's a guy I'd like to see. I'd love yeah. to see that. Good attitudes on both guys. You know, they're both at the right time in their careers. You know, instead of picking a guy that's been around for a while, he's been in major fights, you know, is I think sometimes you just lose that hunger. You know what I mean? And whether you're saying it or you're not saying it, I'm saying subconsciously, that's what happens a lot of times. You know, your brain is always going to say, look, I'm making another run. I can beat this guy, I can beat that guy. But the reality of it is you're not you're not the guy anymore, you know, and uh, I, that's a fight I'd, I'd rather see than the Gaethje fight. But the Gaethje yeah. fight would be explosive. But. Yeah, <clears throat> the lightweights are pretty strategic, too. I, I do think a lot of them are trying to angle for specific matchups and will hold out. And uh, more on that in a moment. Quickly yeah. want to get to the scorecards. Derek Cleary had it 38-38 going into that fifth they, round. They, they, the there you go. Judges had it 3-1 uh, uh, okay. for Rafael Bazeev. 